Welcome to our channel. On today's video, we're going to show you how we created this beautiful, fancy circus setup in a professional and very convenient way. If you are new to the balloon world and you're always wondering how people get those beautiful colors that you see all over Instagram and Pinterest, there is a technique. It's called double stuffing and then all it is is you take a towel and then you put one balloon on top of the other. In this case, the red is just red, no nothing inside the red or nothing outside the red. That's how it comes from Qualitex. But this particular pink that you see there, the darker shade of pink, it's a regular pink from Qualitex but it has a red balloon inside so I can get the darker shade. Now for pastel colors any color that you want to make pastel you can take you can just do a white balloon on top so in this case I have a regular yellow that is very bright a regular pink and a regular blue it's called pale blue and then I put a white balloon on top to get those pastel colors if you want to learn how we tied our balloon garlands and other different ways that you can use to tie balloon garlands then you can watch this video right here And this is the backdrop that we're going to use to build our circus tent. You might be familiar with this backdrop from our previous pictures if you follow us on Instagram. And if you don't, please do because that's where we post most of our work on a daily basis. So you will get tons of inspiration from that page. Although what we're showing you in this video is how we put together this circus tent theme party and balloons around it. What I really wanted to share it is how we have been able to increase sales and increase the value that we offer to our clients by incorporating custom pieces. In this case is the tent, but we've also done uh, butterfly themes, Peppa Pig, Coco Melon, race cars, and a lot more. I'm not interested in becoming an event planner or event decorator or having a lot of props to rent. That's not my business. It's not what I want to do. But what I did realize is in order to serve the client that I want to attract, I needed to be able to offer custom pieces because sometimes the client only wants, let's say, the butterfly, right? Like they want a butterfly theme. So they want a big butterfly. And when you go out and you rent out those butterflies, because you have to pay an additional vendor for transportation, right? They have, they have to deliver it, they have to pick it up, and they have to charge for the actual product, then it becomes an extra $300, $400 for the client, making my overall design a lot more expensive. So in order to keep up with the trendy designs, I realized that a very affordable way for my client and a convenient way for me to do it was just incorporating cutouts. This is the biggest setup that we've done using foam board, like using cutout pieces. Um, and it was a little challenging because um, on the right, the ceiling was to load, and then on the left, there was a bouncing castle coming. And also the lines for the tent, for the actual print needed to align the top and the bottom. So you can watch how we actually put it together while I tell you what you need to find in a printing company. First, printing companies normally work for very large companies, for very large corporations. So they, let's say they do signs for Walmart. So they need to print a sign for Walmart for 1,000 stores. So God knows how many stores, right? So they do take on very large orders and they might not be interested in your one backdrop or one name or one cutout uh, order. So you want to find a medium sized printing company that will care and will actually take a very small order from you. If you are a graphic designer, then you can just design your own pieces and then just send them off to print. But if you're anything like me, you need help with the design portion. So you want to find a printing company that will take your small order and that will help you design what you're looking for. And lastly, they need to be able to print bigger pieces. Some of them are gonna say, we can only print uh, four by four or six by six. So you want at least um, six feet 
tall or seven feet tall by four feet wide. So as long as they're able to print that size, then that it's a good company. This is the back of this masterpiece. You can see that we're literally just taping it to our backdrop. Now, our backdrop is very sturdy and we have weights at the bottom, so I have no safety concerns at all. We just we can just easily tape our foam board pieces to our backdrop and we know it's gonna be safe. Now, I wouldn't do this exact same setup outdoors because that top part is, doesn't really have anything to hold on to in case that it gets really windy. So I will have to figure it out a different way if this was outdoors. So for indoors, you're very safe to use foam board and uh, like this big foam board pieces. But generally speaking, if you, if you are working outdoors, then it's a different ballgame. I don't want to be known as a prop company, so we don't rent out our backdrops. Um, like, let's say if you wanted to rent this from me, I wouldn't rent it because I don't see a lot of value in renting just one or two pieces. If I was to do that, if that was going to be my entire business, then yes. But uh, I want to be known for my balloons. So we are very particular with the backdrops that we invest in. Let me know in the comments below if you are interested in see what backdrops we offer. But essentially, they have to be easy to transfer sport they have to be easy to customize like changing the colors so i can use it in different um, occasions uh, and they have to be easy to store it as well and those same backdrops are is what i used to support anything that i do with foam board so if you look at our pictures on instagram then you will notice that most of the foam board backdrops or most of the cutout pieces are normally paired with a regular backdrop. So I'm not taking away from the existing business that I have, which is the balloons, maybe with uh, two or three backdrops. But what I'm doing is I'm adding a custom piece for my client, for the overall setup. So I'm not replacing one for the other, although sometimes the client just want, let's say, one big backdrop of Peppa Pig and then balloons around it. We can do that. For the most part, we're just adding custom pieces like a butterfly or a fairy or the name or hearts or anything else that we can think of that will add and enhance the customer's theme. Now my favorite part, the balloon portion. Um, you saw me at the left, I was adding those balloons there and I was telling you earlier that the foam board is not very good support for your balloons. So what we did is there, there is a speaker there on the left and then the bracket that's holding the speaker is what it used to support my balloons in that corner. And then in the between, then I use my own backdrop, the one in the back to support the balloons in the middle. So we do bases, just like you saw me at the beginning of the video, I was just tying the bases. So I um, attach the bases first and I don't like to do in the neck to neck or just adding two, three quads at the time. I find it a lot more efficient to just add one long piece and then start filling it up. But again, that is completely up to you, is your personal choice, is however you feel that you are uh, more efficient in anything that sparks your creativity in a better way. So if you feel more creative and that you think you can do a better job doing neck to neck or just doing smaller pieces at the time, you do you and you're gonna be able to create a beautiful piece that's unique to you. And this is how we do it. So we do the big pieces, like the bases, we secure that first, and then we add fillers, uh, then we proceed to add our big balloons, and then we proceed to add any accents, in this case, the gold orbs balloons. And the final step in our garlands is the five inches. The one thing that I do, and that I highly recommend that you do at all times, is to look your work through the lens of your cell phone or whatever camera you're using. I highly encourage you to invest in a tripod and then just record a time lapse. It's just going to be a 20, 30 second video at the end, but you can continuously look how your piece of work is evolving and how do you like it. And sometimes in the in the picture you can see where do you want it bigger and how is it going to look in the final picture 
because yes, you cared about the final product in person, but when you look it in the picture, it only means that it's good for both. It's good in person and it's good for pictures. If you only look at it in person and you only focus on the in-person experience, then you might not get a good picture and that's not ideal. Another very important tip is to have all of your props and elements that are going to go in your setup ready when you're doing your balloons. The last thing that you want to do is um, after you think that you're done, then your client is bringing you an eight foot table that is going to go right in front and block the whole thing, right? So ask from the very get go exactly what's going to go in front and then you can work around that and make, look, make sure it looks amazing. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this video and what other topics you want us to cover in this channel. And if you want to work with us, if you want to learn from us, we do have our signature program. It's called We Balloon Stripe. And inside the program, our main goal is to help you become a top balloon artist in your area so you can sell easily. But we not only focus on how you can create these beautiful pieces, but we also focus on the business side of things, how to find your ideal client, how to sell to your ideal client, how to attract more clients, how to sell so you can make a profit, right? How to price correctly, how to use social media in your favor so you can connect with your audience and convert them into paying clients. So if you want, if you're interested, there is a link in the comment section below and you can join the program or you can join the waitlist. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.